Hello and welcome to follow my sailboat channel. My name is Panu and I'm building this 50 meter liveaboard cruising sailboat here in Finland. This is a special episode. While waiting the insulation to be completed, I decided to do this video for explaining the next phases for the project. This is a bit different approach than for run sailing for example, so Let's jump to the 3D model and I'll explain what kind of phases I need to do before we start really the planking of the boat. And I can tell you there is a lot to do. Also, I'm planning to refer to this video from the future episodes so that I don't need to explain everything again and again and again every time. Let's go inside my office and uh, look at the 3D model of the boat. All right, much nicer inside here in the warm office. I have now chopped this uh, first stage of the build into four different projects, I would say. And now I'm gonna show them to you. And uh, the first stage has already, of course, been started and it is right here. I'm actually gonna flip this over because the model is right side up, but of course the boat will be built upside down, so it's a bit easier for you to follow. But anyway, the first stage is here and uh, it contains these green pieces that are of course the foundations on the floor, they are already mostly in, and the yellow molds here between, half of them are already in as well. Then there is these red pieces that are actually part of the boat, they are the bulwark or caprail, whatever you want to call that but they are part of the boat and they are really important in this stage. And all of them are of course CNC cut and should be spot on and very precise. So if we move this model a little, you can see this is just a kind of flat surface right now. Then we can start adding some things there. Next molds right here. They are molds for supporting the next phase and uh, they are CNC cut molds from plywood and uh, they kind of form this structure in here and on the front as well. And the reason I need these are the next pieces that are going in and they are these side walls. These are actually now the inside walls of the bulwark and they will be laminated from two layers of plywood all around the boat. You can see here and they should fit right between this mold and this first piece right there. And they should be quite straightforward. They are bent in, on their places but not really that hard bend. It is quite long distance and the bend is not that tight so they should go well in there. They are glued and epoxied on their places in this stage. And the next thing, uh, by the way, this is still phase one of the build. But the next thing in here are the side decks. After those side walls, we're putting side decks in. They are CNC cut as well. They should be pretty accurate. They just get laminated. One notice here that this is actually too thick in this model. There is also insulation on this model. So this is just two layers of uh, plywood. And the, all this red plywood should be the better quality plywood here. As you can see, there's actually not that much of that, so two layers, but that's kind of it. This is actually end of the phase one, so we are putting the molds in the side decks and the side walls. And why we are doing that is coming in the next phase. So the phase two starts to lift up the boat a little bit, so the first thing to lift from there is the mid-section mold. I decided to go with two parallel molds right here and the reason is that eventually the keel will be laminated against this mold. So if there was only one it would have been quite hard to make it straight. So now there is two side by side so it's easy to put the keel timber against these molds. There is a lot of uh, th different things on this mold. There is places for the frames, there is uh, slots for all kinds of little things. 
we'll see in just a moment. But uh, these are actually quite big and uh, they will be, of course, made from separate parts and uh, joined together. But still everything is CNC cut, so they should fit spot on as well. Next things to put on there are actually pretty exciting because they are the steel parts for the mast supports. And the reason I need to put these in this early stage is that the next pieces are actually the frames we have already done and they come on top of these steel parts because it is upside down of course. So all the frames should fit right here on the bulwarks. There is these slots. If I show you a little bit of a detail, there are these CNC cut slots already there and they should fit right on those and they are on the right position and of course there is this slots on the mid mold as well, so they should go right in there. They are glued of course in to these side decks and uh, bulwarks, so these are all glued in, but nothing, no, no glue on the top here. So in this stage of course all of the frames need to be shaped on their final shape. Then, after the frames are in, that's going to be quite a process to lift all them in, but uh, straightforward, I think, is the additional molds. So I need to put a few additional temporary molds in between those little bit longer gaps between the frames. As you can see, the distances between frames uh, varies a little bit. So here in the front, on the front mast, there's three big frames, then there's a little longer gap and a little longer gap and they are not in the same distance with each other. So these longer gaps I decided I it might be a good idea to put some additional molds in there. So they go in this stage and that is because the final thing on the phase two is to make and laminate the side moldings and they are the heavy duty beams that go around the boat on the inside of the frames. They need to be laminated from wood and they should be clamped to the frames and they are also glued to the side decks. So they are between there and they go all the way to the front. And here is actually one little detail I need to still do. They should kind of have a certain place here in the front. So I probably need to do additional mold in here to just put them in the right spot here in the front. Yeah, that is the end of phase two. And this what it should look like after that. Then the phase three. There is four phases as mentioned before we start planking. And side note, I think it is wise to do as much things as possible before planking because planking kind of closes everything. It's impossible to clamp things to the frames when that kind of a hull is all around. So now, for example, this side molding is pretty easy to clamp on these frames because there is nothing on this side to kind of uh, interrupt you. So I think it's wise. And uh, I actually thought earlier that should I put more things like floors and uh, maybe even kind of uh, some structures of the interior in this stage. But eventually I decided that I want to have some kind of uh, freedom afterwards to kind of modify the plans if needed when I actually see the space. So there is no, not really that much interior things going in, but the, all the essential structures are. So yeah, let's jump to the phase three. And the first thing on phase three is to make some additional floor pieces inside here. So these are the purple pieces and they go around the mast mostly. This is the front mast is going to be on this frame, in middle of this frame. And now you can see why the steel parts needed to go before the frame. So it would be impossible to put the steel supports between there afterwards because there is the mold, of course. So this is just basically packing of wood that is laminated and glued in. This is going to be a separate process, but uh, most likely these steel parts will be bolted through here with uh, long galvanized steel rods and bolts and nuts and they will be all inside and epoxied inside so no water should ever be able to go inside there. 
so that will be interesting but uh, it should work I think and there is a couple of additional floor pieces this is just supporting one sole here in the middle and then there is the middle mast of course same thing a lot of packing and the steel pieces are going to be integrated here as well and then there is additional pieces here in the stern so uh, this area is where the rudder will be and I think I'm gonna put some kind of mold or some sort of structure here to actually mark the rudder post position in this stage as well but the, all this structure will be supporting the rudder area pretty substantial wooden lamination there this recess here is for the rudder quadrant of course so yeah and the reason why i want to do all this before the planking of course is that it's so much easier to shape the bottom shape for the shape of the hull before the hull is actually there so I can just put these on there and sand or whatever I'm gonna do plane them on the shape with these frames so these frames of course are in the perfect shape for the hull so they should come pretty easily to the right shape and here in the middle is of course the slot for the keel now those are gonna be interesting thing to do then the next thing in this phase three is the stem this is actually already been done, but in this stage it's going to be installed on the boat. There is a slot for it, there is a placement for it here in the front, so it should go right where it should be. And uh, yeah, if you want to see how I made this stem, there is a few videos up there, I think. And the final thing on the phase three is the keel. It is laminated substantial piece of wood and it should go and laminate it just here in the middle. There is slots on the frames for that. And yeah, it should be quite straightforward job. Pretty big. But uh, anyway, I think we'll manage that just fine. And of course, uh, the model hasn't been shaped here in the front, but the keel of course need to be shaped in the right shape to accept the planking eventually so there are some things to remove here but just a 3d model that's the end of the phase three and then we'll jump into phase four which is the final stage to do before planking can start and that is all about the ballast keels first pieces to put in in this stage are these steel parts that support the actual ballast keels so there's a few steel pieces right here inside the boat on both sides there's double keels of course if you don't know after that or at the same time i think we're gonna put the support stocks for the ballast keels so these pieces these are not shaped to the final shape either but I'm gonna make them from oak instead of pine because they're gonna be between the ballast keels and these steel parts and there's gonna be substantial compression in these pieces so they need to be very hard wood and they are of course pretty important so they are going to be in there and there is uh, still a couple of things I need to figure out for them I think I'm gonna actually do the shape of the keel with the CNC underneath here because I know exactly what shape this stock will be so I can pretty easily make the shape of the keel so that it will position itself perfectly and we need to drill straight holes from these steel parts through eventually to hold the keel so that's gonna be interesting but I want to do this before planking because uh, actually most likely the foundation made from oak will actually extrude through the planking so the planking will not be here between the what would you call it stock timber keel timber maybe this is keel timber but anyway this will most likely come through the hull or the hull will be done around this 
somehow so that the shape of the keel will be actually visible from the outside so that we can put the keel right where it should be. But there will be no additional flange on the outside which spreads the load but the keel itself will be just the right shape and it goes right through here and uh, attach to these structures here inside. So that will be interesting thing to do and that is the final thing to do before we start planking. So as you can see there is quite a lot of things we do before we actually start to do the actual hull coverage. And if I just modify the view a little I get all the molds out like that. So this is actually all the pieces of the boat that will be installed into the boat before we start the planking. So as you can see there is quite a lot. All of these pieces need to be there eventually. So as mentioned I think it's very good idea to put as much as possible into the boat before we start planking. Because if you imagine you have the hull shape and you try to fit all this inside the hull after it's done, it can be quite hard and quite manual job even if the things are CNC cut. So that's the idea here to have a good access to all of these and put them on their places. There is a few details though that I haven't yet figured out. One quite important one is the placement for cleats. So of course the boat needs to have good and strong places for doing the mooring lines all over. So ex for example here in the front we have the front deck here. There is the high bulwark and most probably I'm gonna put the cleats on top here instead of going in the middle. The chain for the anchor will be go over this deck here to there. It's gonna be placed in the middle of the boat, the uh, anchor chain locker. So most likely I won't be doing holes here and put the cleat inside here. Instead many of the boats, uh, for example Moody, which have the similar bulwark idea, they have the cleats on top here. And for those I need to prepare some kind of very strong foundation. This two layers of plywood here is not gonna be enough probably. So I'm probably gonna pack this area up quite heavily to make a long bolts or rods or whatever to actually attach the clamps, uh, oh, sorry, the cleats in here. And of course uh, if you think about it little uh, when I'm gonna plank this boat from the outside here there is nothing really in this area to put the planks or the strips to. So I need to make some kind of structures here to be able to plank the boat uh, on the top here. Here in the front where the stem starts it's much easier of course. You can put it right on there. So at the top area I need to put something in there. And of course the same cleat thing is should be done here in the middle and on the stern as well. So at least three cleat places. Possibly more. Maybe there should be actually two pairs of cleats here in the middle. I don't know. That's kind of the process. Four stages. And uh, it's gonna be quite interesting. This is very different method for anything I have seen. But uh, this kind of has been my process of thinking how it should be as efficient as possible. So this is a little bit short video but I think it's interesting and I'm gonna refer to this video from the future episode so I'm gonna put these section markings on this video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video where <laughs> hopefully we get to do some boat work again. I'm not gonna film the insulation process. It's just so annoying. It's gonna take some time still but it's going forward and that's good. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.